fencing for our buck enclosure is a project that's been put off for far too long. Right now, it's fundamentally unfair. Our does and kids get to wander around and graze, and the bucks have to stay enclosed and eat hay. It'll be safer to let them out when we have a good fence to contain them and can keep them separated from the does. The auger implement for the tractor should make quicker work of digging those fence post holes, but I know I'm going to be doing a fair amount of hand digging manually with a shovel as well. I'm not sure how much faster this is going to go if I have to keep stopping to dig and pry out big rocks. All right, I, where, where, did I, where did I leave off? I you sheared a, backed up. <laughs> I, I, I left off several days ago. One of the safety bolts, the, a shear bolt broke when I was trying to dig my first hole and I needed to get some more. So we took a break from doing that until I could get those parts. We've got a few extras now. Uh, I did some brush hogging in the meanwhile. So we've got a little more cleared grass up there to work with. We've just got the auger back on and we're ready to try it again. What's a stack up, up in your room? <laughs> you want to say anything else? I hate dealing with Brian and instructions. It's the <laughs> worst thing in the entire world. He doesn't listen. Instructions? You can read the instructions but can you understand the instructions? It's you don't it's a take completely time to different process. Thing. <laughs> it's like put the something on the something, and he's like, "Well, what's the? I think I'm just gonna do this," and he's already trying to do it, and I'm like, "No, <laughs> <laughs> we have to actually figure it out, not just bang on stuff." <laughs> Banging on stuff sometimes works, <laughs> it, and it did this time actually. But uh, it's frustrating. It's frustrating. We're we're learning new things. I've said it before. Uh, none of this is coming supernatural to us. So we're ready to try again. Arrows, get over here. Come here. Come here. I think I'm going to break those shear bolts every time I hit a rock, so anytime it jumps like that, I need to back off and maybe use a shovel or a pick or something to pull those rocks out. It'll take a while. Right, let's try it again. There's another one right where that first one was, the big one. Where's that? Right where that big one you just took out was. Oh, there's some big rocks now. 
Welcome to Missouri. <laughs> Can get a fence. And yeah, that's what you keep hitting. You could probably get it out now, Brian. It's really loose. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, well, that's a rock. Come here, arrows. Okay, so it's not a pretty hole, and it's not done yet. The bolt came loose. Here, let me have you try that again. Okay, the bolt came loose, but it didn't break, so I'm trying to tighten it now. Uh, here's what the hole looks like so far. Not quite deep enough, and I wish it was a little narrower, but as we're digging out rocks, they're just kind of collapsing some of the sides. Wash, rinse, repeat. <laughs> I think we can cut the camera off here. We're just gonna go down by inches. These things break way too easy, but they do protect the auger. They're also a real pain in the butt to replace. I've dug as far as I can with the auger on several of these holes, and I've used the shovel and the pickaxe and just pulling things out with my hands I've run into some rocks that I just simply cannot get through or around what I'm doing now is using my gas-powered t-post driver as a jackhammer with an old t-post I'm trying to loosen up or break through pull out those uh, those stubborn rocks some of them you can just kind of get in behind and then use leverage with the t-post to pry them out of the out of the ground sometimes you can just pound away at them and they'll crack and then you just pull the pieces out this one's a little stubborn it's uh it looks like it's pretty thick I've been pounding on it for a while trying different spots I'm hoping that it's just about ready to crack so I brought the camera out here to hopefully watch me do that I'm not going to film very much of this because although it's satisfying to pull a big rock out that I've been working so hard at, it's probably not that much fun or interesting to watch on camera. Here we go. It snapped a little and it's loose, 
I think I can pry this one out. I am wearing this shirt for a reason. Rock is dead, long live paper and scissors. There have been so many delays and false starts, but I guess the important thing is to keep coming back at the problem. That, that pick is really good at getting out big rocks when they're close to the surface, but as the hole gets deeper, you just need something longer and skinnier to get the job done. How much force am I using to pry out those rocks? I broke the shovel. In the end, it's probably a good thing. I got this four foot wrecking bar and it's got some good heft and enough leverage that I can really pry out some of those rocks. Thanks for watching. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip around the moon with us.